Okay, Dave, what do we have here? It's a 1938 LaSalle model 5019 uh, with suicide doors. It's uh, one of the lower models. It's funny, as a story I got from the guy who said, you know, in, in the days when he had LaSalle's, he said everybody wanted a LaSalle. They didn't want a Cadillac because they thought the LaSalle was a better car. But it's uh, got a hat, flathead V8 in it. It's got a few extra things someone over the years had put on the cars, including the extra lights and the grill and the, uh, uh, and the spotlights. But they look pretty good on this car. It's, uh, it's got coker tires on it, radials, so it drives a heck of a lot better than it used to. Okay, and you found this in is it California, correct? It's a California car. I bought it here in Fillmore in 2002. And uh, the, I haven't found the lineage on this. I haven't really even bothered to look. But it is a California car. It's a rust-free car. Uh, somebody did a lot of the external restoration before I got it, including all the rubber and all the uh, 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 fenders and such, all that's been replaced. Uh, the rubber on the dashboard's been replaced. I put in new window moldings and rubber all over there. The rubber on this car, I'd have to give it a 10. Okay. And you basically say this is a rust-free California car? It is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Tail lights are sure different. They are. They're glass too, and uh, uh, different at times and occasions. I you know, get on the internet and I just look for them, just in case I ever broke one of these, but I never have. And uh, uh, the car is uh, modified 12 volts. Uh, it's got halogen lighting in it. Uh, the dash has been totally redone. Uh, digital clock in it. Speedometer has been uh, uh, fixed. Everything. Like I say, everything is on a 12 volt system and I have a resistor in there that puts all the dash parts and everything back to six volts so it's running uh, normally. All the gauges and everything are fairly accurate. Great, Hit, open that door for me, would you please, the front? I'm get that with my elbow, there we go. I've got a little uh, CD player underneath there, just have some music in here. Uh, all uh, radio parts and all that stuff were extras in those days. They didn't come with the cars. All the uh, all the Bakelite in there is original. It is uh, the original Bakelite on the thing, and uh, on the right side is an ashtray. There, it opens up. Headliner looks great. It is good. You can look down and see the original Fisher body trim on the LaSalle's. Stamped out aluminum. Oh, that's awesome. It is. Got a little living room back here. <laughs> I've actually, I've had people follow me home on a couple of times and uh, actually uh, I got in the driveway the last time and these two kids came up and go, what do you want? And he says, can we hire you for our wedding? <laughs> And this girl came out with the biggest wedding dress I've ever seen in my life. She managed to get in there. Oh, really? So you yeah. did, you did hire stuffed her in, Stuffed her and her mother in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Let me just turn this off a second. We'll get a peek, piece, uh, peek at the engine. Okay. Okay, Dave, tell me about the engine. The engine is a, I, I think they call it a 319 flathead V8. It's uh, the same as the, in 1937 to 1948, they made this engine for all Cadillacs and Oldsmobiles and everything. Uh, when they stopped making them, these engines were the engines they used in the war for all the tanks. And so from 37 to 48, the engines got uh, beefed up and a little bit more powerful. And by the time they, in, uh, they made the uh, end run on these engines, they were just a little bit oversized and bigger than the originals, 37s and 38s to 40. Uh, unfortunately, the, in, the original engine in here was just so far gone, we couldn't rebuild it. So I found another one and uh, rebuilt it, kept all the original parts I could, including the uh, uh, ceramic uh, manifolds. And... Uh, we did rewire the fuel system a little bit so we don't have a problem of vapor lock mm -hmm. with the fuel line running so close to the heads and getting heated up. The, uh, 
this car runs cool. I'm, you know, I've got other cars, and for some reason, this car just runs cool. I, you know, I've never had it overheat. I can't get it to overheat. And this is a brand new build too, right? It is brand new build. Like how how, how build new? Five hundred miles? What's that? I think it's got five hundred miles or six hundred miles. When you when I saw you the other day, yeah. you asked me the mileage. I said I think I said six hundred, mm -hmm. and I looked down there and it was six zero zero on the speedometer. Super. So yeah, it's a it's a new build. The whole thing's got uh, uh, six hundred miles on it, suspension, everything. That's super. Let me shut this off real quick and we'll start it up. You got it. Okay, Dave, Dave, hit it up. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but we get the idea. Smooth. That is. Let me just sneak around you here, please. Okay, Dave, if you mind shutting that, I'd appreciate it. Grab that hood, that'd be great too, please. Okay. Well, my name is Dave Henry, and if anybody cares to give me a call and make an offer on this fine car, I'd sure appreciate it. My cell phone is 760-835-0115. That's 760-835-0115. And if you want to visit my website, it is spokemotors.com. That's spoke, S P O K E, motors, M O T O R S.com. Thank you very much for looking.